Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for clicking on another video. In today's video, I want to talk to you about stuff that I've just been thinking about and I was like, this is good, I should put it in a video. How to achieve your fitness goals in 2021. You're welcome. Okay, so start off with, we all have goals. That is totally normal. I even want to say it's like a good thing, you know? As humans, we want to improve. We want to live life to the full. And, and for many of us, we want to feel what it feels like to be our fittest, healthiest selves. That is not bad. <laughs> That's kind of like a normal part of human life. We have aspirations. We are constantly wanting to improve. And I personally am not against New Year's resolutions. I think that they can be a really great way. It can be a really good point of saying, right, it's a new year. I'm going to commit to this. I like that sense of motivation. I like that urge. And I think it's a good thing. I'm not a resolution hater. I make them myself. It's a time of year where everyone's excited. Things feel new. Well, I don't know if people will be excited this year. They might not be fireworks. But anyway, everything feels new. So why not harness that energy? Why not harness that belief and use it for the good? That's what I plan on doing. And if you want to do that, let's go. That said, there's nothing magical about a new year, okay? Not, at, at midnight on the 1st of January, 2021, you're not gonna suddenly wake up as Naomi Campbell or as Beyonce or as, I'm trying to think of a fitness icon, as Jess, Jessica Ennis. You're not just gonna wake up and say, you're still gonna be you, which is a good thing. You're awesome. You should be you, be you, it's cool. But I say all that to say, they don't just happen. There is a huge reason, a very good reason why most people fail their New Year's resolutions. And I am going to tell you in this video how to make sure that that's not you, how to give yourself the best chance at success in getting fit specifically, specifically getting fit in 2021. Number one is to believe that you can. And you might be thinking, oh, that's a bit airy fairy, that's a bit this, but it's not. It's not, you have to believe that you are capable of doing something. You have to know, it's not, it's not even, it has to go even beyond belief. You have to know that you are capable of doing something. You are capable of getting fit. Do you, do you believe that right now? Like genuinely, let me know in the comments. Do you believe that you are capable of achieving your fitness goals? Because you are, whether you believe you are or not, you are, but you believing you are, you knowing that, is the difference between you actually seeing it in your life and you not seeing it in your life, or it's one of the differences. This is so key because no one can do that for you. If you're entering in with a mindset of like, oh, I may as well try and I might do, I might not, then that's that's got, that's not great. You have to know that you can. I know that everyone has different challenges, Absolutely. Some people have it harder than most. Some people have it easier. There's always going to be someone worse off than you, someone better off than you. But at the end of the day, you can do it. You can achieve whatever you put your mind to. You can live your fittest, healthiest life in 2021. That is possible. I don't care how many diets you've tried before. I don't care how many times you failed. I don't care how many workout routines you've quit. There is always potential for progress. In fact, I would say all those other things, it's just finding ways that didn't work. <laughs> It's just getting those out of your system. And now this one, this is for real. And it's not just a one thing, it's an ongoing lifestyle. That's what we want. We don't want temporary diets. We want a healthy lifestyle for life that works for us. But it has to start with the belief that you can. So just know that it is possible. It's not some crazy dream. I remember when I used to, sometimes I, I struggle to give my own personal story because I know that everyone's different and maybe this means nothing to you and you can't relate, but whatever, it's just my life. So I guess I'll share it anyway. But I, I remember, sorry, sad, I don't know how to say this. I remember when I was at uni and I was overweight and I just couldn't stop overeating. I just, it was like, I just couldn't stop. It was like, I, I didn't want to eat a load of junk, but I kept doing it. I didn't know how to like get out of my own head about it. There was one time, I think I just eaten, I don't know if it was loads of donuts and popcorn maybe like five donuts, I, I don't know, I don't wanna give specifics, but I'd eaten a lot of food, I was really full, and I sat down, looked in the mirror, and I just cried. I just cried, and I, and it, I remember feeling really pathetic, because it wasn't just that I was uncomfortable with, you know, getting out of breath when I went up the stairs, and, you know, having had done athletics in the past, this was new to me, you know, I'd been overweight for maybe a year and a half or so, and I wasn't comfortable with it, and I, but I didn't know how to change it because I wasn't training as a junior athlete anymore. And anyway, it's a whole nother story. Let me know if you want a video on that story. But I remember crying and feeling so pathetic that I not only couldn't, I, I felt pathetic that I just couldn't even control what I did. And I felt like it was never gonna change. 
I remember that feeling so vividly like it was yesterday, but I did it. I also remember the time when I was leading a fitness class in the fitness society that I started a few years later. Um, and one of the PTs came up to me and said, I wish I had an eight pack like yours. And that was the first time I realized I'd achieved my goal. And I was like, oh my gosh, yeah, I've got, I've, I feel good. I wasn't conscious, I'm not conscious wearing this. I know that I'm strong and fit and I can take on challenges. I feel good in my body. Um, and so, yeah, I don't know why I just said that, but just to say that you can, you, you genuinely can. It's not some, there's nothing, there's no special club of people who get fit, okay? There's no special elite club, of the people who just happen to be fitness people and the people who don't know. If you've got a body, you can figure out a way to look after it and love it and give it the exercise and good nutrition that you need. There is no exclusive club. If you wanna be on that level, looking after your body, get into the best shape of your life, you absolutely can. If you are struggling to believe that you are capable of success, a great way to start can be with affirmations. Um, so I do actually have videos of myself doing my morning routine, um, kind of intimate, but genuinely me doing my morning routine. I did live on this channel and on my Instagram where I talk about affirmations of self-love, of self-gratitude. And I also have a selection of eBooks on my website, which come as 30 days of affirmations. So those will just walk you through. So I definitely recommend getting a hold of that ebook ready to start 2021 and to just teach yourself, to believe in yourself, to love yourself. Some of them I find so challenging. It's like, why do I find that challenging when it's true? Why do I find that? And, they, and I have to pause and dig into that. Why, why is it that I'm limiting myself in that way? So yeah, for me, I find affirmations really helpful for helping me to believe in myself and to achieve the things that I want to achieve. Um, and I think they can be really powerful. I will leave the link to those in the description box of this video. So that's number one, believe you can. Number two, number two is to set a realistic goal, okay? You are you, you are freaking amazing and unique and special. There's no point trying to be anyone else. I know it's tempting because other people look great and we all have the habit of thinking other people are better than ourselves. Some people just are great. And so it can be really tempting to belittle yourself in light of someone amazing and just want to be them. But just know that you are you, okay? The goals that I achieved when I say that I got a six pack or whatever and I achieved my fitness goals, the goals that I achieved are very different from the unrealistic crazy goals that I used to set. You know, my body type is my body type. When I'm at my fittest, I will just look a certain way. I'm not going to make my hips any bigger. I'm not going to make them any smaller. You know, my bones are my bones, if, if you go what I mean. Obviously, you can adjust the amount of fat on your hips, etc. But you know what I mean. But I say all that to say, make realistic goals, okay? Realistic goals that are about you, that are healthy. So whether it's that you want to run a 5K, whether it's you want to be a certain size, that is totally up to you, but make sure they're realistic. And a big piece of that is the time frame. If you're trying to drop 10 sizes in 10 days, it's not gonna happen. If you're trying to try and drop two sizes in 10 days, I don't recommend doing it that way. Our bodies take time to change. You're not gonna change. 20 years of living with two weeks of dieting. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but it's just not gonna happen. I hate to be, the, if, if you're just realizing that, I hate to be the one to tell you that because I know it's kind of getting. I remember when I would continuously try to do these two week fixes, like how to lose 10 pounds in two weeks. And I'd be like, ha ah. It was just a lie, but it is just a lie. I'm sorry, I'm just being honest with you. I'd probably, you know, get a lot more views if I did videos like that, but you'll just lose water weight. You won't stick to it. It's not great for your body. It's not long-term. It's not the way you want to do it. So there's no rush. Trying to get a queue jump will only get you kicked out of the queue. So don't even bother. Just queue up and wait your turn and you will get into the club. How are you going here from outside the club? You can't even get in. <laughs> Okay, so setting realistic goals that are about you. We're not trying to become anyone else and that have a realistic time frame. okay? You are capable of anything, but you need to do it wisely. You need to allow yourself the time and space to achieve a realistic goal. So for me, if I'm like, I want legs like Naomi Campbell and I'm five foot three, honey, honey, Sarah, I love you, but babe, God gave you your legs, appreciate them, love them as they are, make them healthy and cool and you know, do what you will, but know that your body is still your body and it's great and your results will look different than other people. Some people, you can do the exact same thing as Liz down the road or Chi Chi up north and you, you'll end up looking different and that's beautiful, that's amazing. What we're after is the healthy lifestyle. Okay, so one is to believe that you can, two, set realistic goals. Number three, make a plan, make a plan. Make a plan. I, 
I don't know how else to say that in a way that is any more clear. You need a plan. If you're just going to try and wing it, it's just not going to happen. And what frustrates me about this is that we don't really do that in any other area of our lives. Like, like even say if you get a job, right? Imagine your boss didn't tell you what day you start. You'd be like, what's the plan? Imagine they didn't tell you where to park or where the work was or where you needed to put your stuff in the locker room. You'd be like, what is the plan? What am I doing? You wouldn't know what to do with yourself. They didn't show you how to do the job. There was no time to, when's your lunch break? When's this? You wouldn't know what you're doing. You'd just be sat there like, hmm, and you probably wouldn't do a very good job. And it's the same when it comes to looking after our bodies. We need a plan. If we're learning to love and look after our bodies, we need a plan. You can't just go out willy nilly and just expect 2020, everything falls into place. Unfortunately, it's not how it works, okay? So we have to make a plan. If you're looking for a plan, I've already made one. I'm, I'm shamelessly plugging this right now, actually, because it's great. It is a really good plan. Healthy at home, it includes motivation. It includes um, exercises for beginner to advanced. It's a follow along home workout plan, especially in 2021, we don't know what's going on. So I highly advise getting a home workout plan. So it's not that, oh, I had an amazing gym plan and then the gym's closed. And then you're like, oh, I guess I give up. So definitely have a backup for that because we know that times have been a bit cray. Um, but yeah, you can sign up for healthy at home. There's currently an early bird discount. So totally get that. But even even if you don't choose my amazing, incredible eight week plan that has taken me so long to make and that is at a bargain price right now, even if you choose another one, that's great. Just choose a plan and stick to it. And when I say plan, I don't mean just choosing a plan. I mean, scheduling it, scheduling when you're going to do that plan. Where are you going to do it? Writing it down in your diary, setting reminders and all of these tips that I actually go through in Healthy at Home and I provide for you all this information and more in that plan. But it is key to success, okay? We have to, we have to plan. I'm gonna leave that here for now because I don't want this video to go on forever. So if you want a part two on how to achieve your fitness goals in 2021, then just let me know in the comments, give this video a big thumbs up, share it, leave me a comment, letting me know your favorite tip. Let me know if you've signed up for Healthy at Home and share this video with a friend. Make sure you subscribe for more. I love you so much. I'll see you in my next video. Love you so much. Okay, bye.